Red Dwarf, Season 7, Episode 8. Nan, uh, uh, out in the Last week, something terrible happened to Miss Celeste's arm. What did they say, guys? Check it out. There's a woman in there. I've been tongue hockey to death. Sir, you know how you told us all to work on a solution for Mr. Epidine. No matter how drastic. Yeah, what have you got, Felix? My left arm, I said. That's my right. What kind of navigation officer can't tell? Left and right. We did the best we could. I'm so sorry. Yes, sir? Sir, you're awake. Buddy, you look great. Oh, bravo, sir. You see, there's no need for despondency. You still play the guitar. Yeah, look on the bright side, at least. Now I am only half crap. You should still count on our blessings, sir. But it's right. I'm going into the loo. So I could, uh, actually need to go now. The scene as it takes me 40 minutes to unbutton my fly. I should probably make a start. Do you need a hand? Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Sorry. Didn't. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Basket, sir. Please, another big, big. Yes, please, quite. What are you doing? Just dunking bickies, madam. It's another of life's joys, of which poor Miss Alyssa has been robbed. Isn't that right, sir? Could you lose? Give my nose a tweak. I've got a bit of an itch. Why don't you itch it yourself? You've got still got one arm. There. There's that much. But that's better, sir. Yeah, bit quite. Him. I told you before. He wants to be independent. Doesn't need you running around after him like he's some kind of invalid. But he does. But he does, don't you, sir? Have a stop of tea, sir? Oh, this is making me sick. Take no notice of her, sir. It's nearly supper time. Chicken, chicken nuggets tonight. Eggs tonight, sir. Which we would toast, cut into little teeny weeny bite sized soldiers. A tiny, very zoom rank, steak likes. I may mean, cut up my own toast. Oh, just like you asked for, sir. Asked for? Just now, remember, sir? Rights and those best. When I stretch, stretch my legs out. Legs, take a walk around the ship. Just open the door for you, sir. There we go. The door's open, sir. Cheers. Let's close the door now, sir. Doors are closing, sir. The floor's nearly closing. And it's closed, sir. Floor's not a droid. Could I have a word? Certainly, madam. Look, deep down, I'm a big softy. First time I saw Gone with the Wind, I went through a whole box of tissues. Now, Voyager, I so choked I could choked up I couldn't speak for twenty minutes. I'll take a note, madam. Now now Voyager. Worth keeping even on carry on stand by carry on, madam. A saying, I'm not a hopeless bitch. Do you understand that for what I'm about to tell you is not is needed. Back of this let him learn to cope with his own. So anyway, I don't understand, madam. I have him and you not have him. But if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have been wearing them. You wouldn't even be wearing your underpants. Have you ever heard of something called tough love? Does it mean dressing up? No. It means sometimes a helpful person. You've got to have to get tough. Make them stand on their two feet. Or in Mr. Lister's cape, one hand at sea. Do you think it's time to let him stop brushing his own teeth again? Yes, I do, yes. I also think it's time you built him an artificial arm. Give him a chance not to be dependent on you. I was meaning to get around to that, madam. But what with being on 24-hour wipe alert? How no time? Wipe alert? No, don't tell me what that means. I have a feeling I know when I'm going for a right close to thing about her. Me and mouth. I help him get rid of the crumbs around his mouth. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's absolutely gross. Mouth crumbs. Oh, disgusting. Right now, this is a copied standard model from the 21st century. A kind of sir? Fine, yeah. Okay, then let's screw cap. The limb is connected to the neutrons, which run up the left hemisphere of your brain, controls the right side of your body. Now, all you have to do is really command the arm with something in its veins. And that's practice. Now, it comes straight, sir. Why don't you pick up the ball? Okay. I just think I will pick up the ball. I pick up the ball. That's right. Good. Now, concentrate. I pick up the ball. Now, okay. Now, I really think hand pick up the ball. That's right, that's right. Hand, pick up the ball, hand, pick up the ball. That's right, keep, now keep going, sir. Pick up the ball, now focus down on the to that. Keep on the fault. Sir, hand, pick up the ball. That's right, sir. Now keep going. Now really think now. Hand, pick up the ball. Now let's keep really keep it going, sir. Pick up the ball, pick up the ball. Don't really start to go, go now, sir. 
and pick up the ball. Let's go, keep moving. And Bonsa, you do it. You can do it. And pick up the ball. You're going to move. Answer. You're going to move it. Hand, move the hand, sir. Move. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. Yes, sir. sir. We're starting to move now. Yes, it's definitely moving. Yes, yes. Oh, bravo, sir. Oh, how do you know, sir? So the best it works, I examine in what way. If I could want to pick a ball, I'm going to have to pick take the morning off. If Ted's slow, I'm forced to admit. I tell the only thing I've been picked up. Slow as a rim in the disco. Well maybe by just impulse. Now we might take, make a little make it a little bit more sensitive. Okay, let's try again. Pick up the ball, pick up the ball. Okay, hand me pick up the ball. Okay, well, let's try again. Okay, now pick up the ball. And pick up the ball. I think, sir, there's something angry inside you. That's what's driving the arm. Don't feel angry. Well, you lost your arm, sir. And you have every right to feel angry. Don't suppose I don't. Oh, well, you see, it's subconscious. You think you pick up the ball. But it's subconscious is saying, punch right in the head. Beat the brains out of the demented throwing. Cut off my beloved arm. Am I right, Cotton? Rubbish, you're right. It's controlled my subconscious. You're too dangerous to let you out with that arm, sir. To meet with Ves Karansky. Who knows what you're just swinging around your head. Must be a solution to this. Hey, Harvey, do not a pop head. Worry about me, one of your spares. I want to say, Mother, Bold, Mother Boulder, too heavy, sir. The strain that your weight, it would be impossible for this listener. You to get up. He could always take it off if he was always going on a date. Can anyone, someone take him outside, do something with him? Originally, I did he. Involving ice cubes and any pluck of body cavity. Wait a minute. What about that self repair system? Can't that help, madam? When you have a mechanical failure, it fixes itself, doesn't it? Cried them back in my dimension. A tiny little robot self atomic nanobots. They break objects down into components, atoms. Then we combine these, those atoms to repair damaged circuits of nanotechnology. Okay. Not for me. Could you run that one by me one more time? By this time, do the big writing version with pictures, one word per page. Let me think of a conjunct per rendering. I'd rather have a good example. This is a pen, their pencil made of graphite. Peculiar arrangement of carbon atoms. It's a diamond, too, that's made of carbon atoms. Nanobots can arrange atoms so they can take this dead pencil, move the atoms around a bit and make it turn into a diamond. Possible to make diamonds out of pencils. So it's supposed to make computer chips out of sand. So what happens if you transfer what some of your nanobots into Dave? Wouldn't they be able to build him a new arm for from his access body tissue? Possibly, madam, it's not possible, no. Why not? I no longer have any nanobots, sir. It's that me. When and where? I don't can't exactly be, can be exactly certain. If we were to find these nanobots, could you build me a new arm? Or just, but okay, find them. It would be close to impossible, sir. Be look, like looking for needles in my old student's flat. Where was the last uh, repair they made? When we were near, well, on Epo Spanio, but just before we met the despair of Squid, that was ages ago, before we lost the drift. That's why I've given up hope if I ever find you. Let's get set a call back for the Elf um, I promise you'll fill it, you, it's futile, sir. I started preparing the suspended ammunition boats. Hang on a minute. You're not. Not there. Where's the smeg, aren't we? The bridge brought us out of deep space early. Might have picked up something. Maybe it's something to do. I penetrate directly ahead. Just jamming the skinny, sir. No, it's ridiculous. What is it? It's not even worth mentioning, madam. Ah, uh, must be fate, but it's scanner fate. Fault for it's scanning. Well, I, what is, again, what is it, man? It looks shakier than a silicon implant. Well, during an earthquake. Well, according to our scanners, I penetrate out near his Ridworth bar. Just must be in a blink. Of course he's not in the blink. We're taking about the same piece of equipment the last eight months detected a planet tiny populated by air hostesses. We spent two weeks checking that out. I knew we'd give up I knew we'd give up soon. It's worth at least one more week. However, this is one additional factor, but geez. They have been hit that we've been here before. Of course we have. It's a cockpit dummy. We look we come here all the time in this sector of the galaxy. So don't does it look familiar? Quite a space. Black with twinkly bits. It all looks familiar. If you look at the port side, sir, quite in the distance of the ocean. 
Well, we'll be discovered to respond to our answer. That was just before we lost Fred Wolf. We think you were thinking what I'm thinking. Thinking wearing end of our pants with silver studs, silver stake, put on them on the inside out. What are you thinking? Me? I'm thinking about the wooden mallet. You, ice cubes again. You're trying to write, let's check it out. Go into the water, have a scan. Beautiful down there. Tropical temperatures, not a cloud of sky. Sight. So I insist we dress for snow. Take the buggy. Okay, I take, kind of, look, take some readings and grab some soil samples. It looks kind of blowing. It's a electronic storm. Wishing the sand about. You can say that again. There must be more literacy out there. The surge that went through the national grid. The commercial break with Olympic all girls custom. Resting final pure. Inter- impossible out there. Do you need some different girls? No, I need a bottle of cone sweet. Yeah, thanks. Hey, yeah. have another one. What? Another one. I can do it. Look, don't be silly. Let me. I can do it really. I'm not an idiot. Can I ask you a question? Now you've got no, no arm. Does it make a different, any difference to anything? Me and you were female pit Dora. So would, how would you feel about free, about, feel about free legged? Does it make a difference as so to well plugging a relationship out of the air, out of the air of us? Dave, before you lost your arm, I thought you were good, good at discussing bum. And I still do. No, no, so no, none at all. I need to know if it's going, not this going to make any difference for, for a woman. Losing an arm isn't going to make any difference for any woman. Who cares about you. Okay, really, really? What about sex? Not, not here, it's too sandy. How in the hell do you get on? Take a look. The sand, their atoms don't start out. This sand, these weapons, it started out with sand weapons. Engineered robotically. What? Computer chips, you name it. According to the particle analyzer, the paradox red wolf, where are we go where are we going? It's gonna need some help. There's a lot of stuff out there. Looks like we've been me might need we might be worth checking out. What stuff? He feels like it's still easing off. Come and see for yourself. Oh, I'm beginning to worry. Oh for heavens what on heavens this? A damn whole penetrate packed with stuff from Red Wolf's lines, bunks, drinks, pencils, you name it. Like a giant car boot seal. I think we've got some valuable stuff. So what napkin bike rings? A box of pair net with squishing folds, mud rise tie rack, and it's available sharp. What a hole, there must be some useful stuff. I couldn't see what I was getting. All right, Jews, what the smeg are you? Doing here, oh, those little what's it, nonobots. They will cupolize the harmonic. They were more again, anyway. They got the word that they, they did the word that they, I couldn't say the whole shit. And left all the bits. They didn't want on a planetoid. And they fixed your, co- that, what, they fixed your core program. They said they'd be better off without you. Yeah, it was shortly after they met me. Well, from one machine to another, welcome back online. Holly, what's happened to him? Quite, it's quite horrific, isn't it? What was it? A cheap razor? Just not worth buying. Then for garages, is it? Don't you remember me? I'm quite, quite. Sorry, mate. It's the way the light was shining on your, what's your word? Face, I suppose. Don't, just don't recognize you at the minute. Never forget a face you never use, you never. It's good to see you again, and you, and you are not. I'm definitely dumped on the planet, a middle electric storm, left to rot hundreds of years. The guy's lost nothing. So where are we? So why are we on this Franto? We know about some mutinies. I took over the Red Wolf. They wanted a ship. My body is nothing new to explore. The Wolf itself is too ugly big. Uh, but then in the box, they can't change anything. They can change anything into anything else. Yeah, they can take a pot noodle and turn it into food. So they took the Wolf, made a separate atomic version, turned the rest of the atoms, planetary for for safekeeping. What was the... Well, that, what was it? What, what was it to sp- we spent months chasing? What was producing that vapour trail, Red Wolf? Is someone that just turned over two pages at once? Been chasing this nano Red Wolf? That's why the readings were so minute and hard to pinpoint. So now they could be, be anywhere. We pursued them across the half a galaxy. Till we finally lost track of the readings. Probably because the scanner ran function. That they went somewhere out to the reach of our scanners. But we were preening on them, bud. How could they run out on us? Scanners are programmed to scan out the underside. To escape, they must have to stop. You mean the nanoids should be in here? Are bald Starbucks somewhere? 
Hey, he could be right. He's back kicking the good kicking bottom on what? We could have been scanner, sir. We're forming internal sweet work. What are you getting? Nothing yet. Just two pieces of Bernotney, Bombay and Luna. We dropped several minutes ago. Down the surface ducks. Where they appear to involved in rudimentary intelligence. Thorn and fresh and folk drill. Keep coming. Narrow perimeters. And perimeters. Oh, oh my, you were right, sir. I think we found them. Where? They're there, okay? The Red Wolf spent the next two years exploring drain new wells in a laundry basket. Of course, the ship is now so small. As soon as the nanites of the whole money of their fleet sports is the size of the galaxy. Hey, I look at the sound of that. I, don't, I like the sound of that. They listen to the man with the galaxy side drop strap. A little scramps. The oldest trick of the book. Catch your ship, turn into a planet, and explore the micro universe, a laundry basket. How could you fail for the old scam like that? Madam, you tell me. The readings change the same. Still the same. Still the same, they change. Ah, now the little biters. Of all the embarrassment they, they caused me, Chris. See if he can find a frequency to establish contact. Leave it to me, sir. I don't know how to make contact. Can you hear me? Pesty little critters. We want our ship back. We want a new arm. We're so Are you receiving me? Ah, we have contact. They communicate the screen code. Leave the talking to me. Have you any idea what they've done? Deserting your drive. We've broken every rig in the manual. And to compound matters by stealing our ship is unbelievable. Ah, huh? it's unbelievable. Naughty. Now listen up. Here's the deal. We want the paranoid to turn back into Red Wolf. We want to build a new arm for this lister. We, if you don't, we'll get some of this. Do more of this. So, we really manufacture a new arm from my existing skin, a bone duck tree. They've got them to work up with such a frenzy, sir. They do anything they say. Where are they here? I tip my fingers, sir. Millions and millions of them. What I've done now is to suck them into your body. What? The hypodermic, sir. Thank God for that. I, can, I can't bear to look at it. Look, has it worked? Someone tell me. Let me turn around after three. One, two, three. Did it work? Been 100% successful, sir. In fact, it's been 500% success. In fact, uh, well, it, it, that's all, sir. I think I'll retire for a Good night. Release me, Chris. I've got to see it. It probably doesn't mean any harm. I think they were trying to make up for before. But get them another... Before we give him a go, okay? Ah, right. Nice rebuild, there's dental dudes. Don't know, we all need jobs, it seems. Even bigger than remember our guys. Got a problem. 